Belly, what happened? Did he say something mean to you? You okay, bud? It's Khan, by the way. Obviously, said something insulting to Kel, but then Kel, Kel's standard for what constitutes an insult. Um, it doesn't take much. <laughs> it doesn't take much. <laughs> Would you say? <laughs> a lot of that. A lot of those moments with Kel. I, no, I didn't. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Pick up the gun. <laughs> Hello, all of you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi, hello. We have Will. Will is over here. Will is this guy. And is it Will? Is it Will the cougar? The, the brain-addled cougar? Or are you one of those uh, Garfield suction cup things that people put in their cars? Because that's what I saw earlier. I was walking up around the corner, got done watering, and I see Will. So, like, yeah, Ruby's, Ruby's up there. Ruby was where she was, and then Will was just onto the, onto that door. Actually, kind of, far, yeah, pretty far, and it's just, and I'm just like, ugh, he can't get at her. But oh, he's trying. He wants to, and it's like, Will, just leave it alone. <gasps> Ruby's two shoes. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. All right. Hello. Oh, wait. Thank you. Okay. actually uh, it's still you know like it's still warm and greasy but it's not hot and bakey so that's something I don't know if you notice things are actually they're a little there's like a slight more kind of like hint a touch of green that's been kind of like misted someone took like yeah some green grass spray paint and just we got rain two days in a row not like a crazy amount but enough to do this wild I mean It's been, it's been, rough. of course you've known, I talk about it enough, this summer, whew, not fun, <laughs> not fun, not, very sad, sad panda, um, but we've, we've been, we've been luckily getting some, some weather systems kind of pushing through, changing the dynamics, making things a little bit it's weird because it's like yeah instead of having 108 high temperature 
maybe your temperature is only going to be 96. But it's going to be a super moist 96. It's going to be a humid 96. So it's still not the most comfortable. But honestly, it's it's better than the convection. I mean, right now, it just it's something different than the convection oven is than the heat lamp. <laughs> Anyone that does, anyone that's ever worked food service. <laughs> and then they'd have those heat lamps, like in front of that cook station. And you put the food up, and then if they sit in the, and then of course, you know, like the cooks and the managers might get mad because one of the, the servers are not, are not rotating stuff off. And then there's like one, there's like, okay, so plates are coming and going, coming and going, coming and going, but then there's like one. One, there's like, you know, like someone ordered a meatloaf. But the server hasn't come to get it, and it's just been sitting under that heat lamp. Getting mummified. <laughs> well, you got stinky face. You got stinky face going on. Why are you stinking? What is so stinky? <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Good boy. It's just he won't quit. He has got some stinks. Just it ha he, some stinks that have to be stinked. It's just how that is. He's like, I am not, can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, look at. We actually, those are getting green. It's it's amazing how because everything has been crispy, just crispy and just and dead looking and just a couple of days of rain just a couple of days of just mild and okay so like it's more than sprinkles it's more than just like a little bit of mist not quite deluge but enough to soak enough to make the ground you know it gives it like a little bit a little bit of that it's not it's not just like <laughs> you know it actually looks like soil. It looks like dirt. Hello, Mr. Cheese. Hello, Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese Man. Mr. Mono Cheese Man. Let's see. What did you get? Okay, so Heidi just fed. Just fed. So. There are chicken drumstick, and it looks like there's a chick, or two, two chicks. And then those things on like the right, those are gizzards. They love gizzards. Fresh gizzards. So, yeah. Some good eatings right there. Some good vittles. I don't have to pay attention to you. You know that? I don't. Yeah. Because it's it's like, it's just going to be like that. I know. It's not new. It's not fresh. It's not interesting. Same tired old, old wacky munchy. Hi. <laughs> I feel bad. Uh, Because, uh, Jessica's actually taking a taking a breather, so she's going to visit family, um, and not too far away, like kind of like you know, in the DFW area. Well deserved, uh, you know, rest. She's been working really, really hard, and it's almost like if you look at a map of northern Texas, uh, you know, let's say that CA is 
the Dallas Fort Worth area. And then there's a little bit of like kind of like some farmlands and then the Owl is Bridgeport. And then there's basically like this kind of line where like cooler temperatures are over here and it's still like 108 over here. It's weird. It's, <laughs> it's weird. So she's try she tried to escape it. Couldn't. <laughs> Couldn't. But this is like the first time. Now it's like not. I always talk about like, oh, it's really great when we get those first real cool fronts, those first real kind of blast of colder air. Um, I wouldn't say that this is like that first real blast of cooler air, but this is basically, you can see the cracks in the defenses. You can see like, ah, oh, there it is. It's like, ah, oh, the, the shield wall is, is, is breaking. Onward. Send the Dothraki on a suicide charge in one of the stupidest tactical moves ever. <laughs> I hate that last. I hate that last season so much. Game of Thrones. What you did. I loved you. You betrayed me. You betrayed all of us. Heidi is feeding uh, little cats. Heidi is out feeding little cats with fast uh, metabolisms. Metabolisms. Whoa, Bubbles, where are you? Where are you? Where are you doing? Where are you going? Work? <laughs> he turns his head. What? That's my favorite thing. Hi, please don't be angry. Please don't be angry. Hey, sugar pie. Hey, sugar pie. No crinkle noses. No crinkle noses. Thank you. She's been kind of just doing that. She even was kind of like, kind of getting a little cranky with Heidi. That baby, I know. But, but, super fantastic. Super fantastic development. Super fantastic development. <laughs> I think that your emotions are very complicated right now. And I'm not going to sit there and say that I, you know, don't think that you're, you know, somewhat annoyed. But as far as, um, you know, you being, like, really rageful, I, it's different. You're just, it'd be, I mean, seriously, that's just like a little just like, eh. No one ever visits. And it's like, well, you know, there might be a reason for that. Where are you going? <laughs> and she does have visitors. She has a lot of visitors. Maybe it's also just like, I have too many visitors. <laughs> Do you want me to leave? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm making too much noise. I'm, I know. I'm listening to Lawrence Welk. <laughs> I can't hear my stories. <laughs> yeah not all you know how like we've i've emulated like we have so many like sweet grandma kitties we've had a lot of very sweet grandma like get yourself a werther's original kind of kitty um but not all of them are gonna be like that you know yeah she's she's old school um uses doesn't like use the most polite language like still calls leopards spackles not realizing like that's you know frowned upon now <laughs> what that's just what we called them <laughs> where are all the spackles at oh Rasa, no we don't say that anymore <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Malika. Where's my girl? Where's my girl? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Where's my, where's my little, my little lady? My little Siberian lady.
She's a good girl. Yeah. She's a good girl. And a lot of times, whenever we're feeding, and this is, you know, like this is something that Heidi started doing and asked that, you know, I remember to do. But Heidi would uh, go and feed the minis, the little, the little spotty, spotty kids. And uh, a lot of times, part of their day, their diet. Not it's not every single day, but a lot of days they they do get chicks. Um, and then we'll take some of the chicks. We'll take like a, a, a handful of chicks, and then we'll give some to Malika, and then give a couple to to Ruby. And you're got you're kind of all wound up right now. You're all wound up. Duh. Don't move. Don't move. The clients can't see you. If you don't move, he's like a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Bobbles. Hi, Bobbles. Hey, good boy. So he's helping mom work. It's his favorite thing in the world to do. Loves it. Snowy over there. Snowy. 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 Bubbles. I will say that it's even it even it being right like this right now, and it's like it's like it's still greasy. It's so it's so much more easier to walk around in. It's so much more comfy. It's like it's less. It's not oppressive. It might be a little bit just kind of like, eh, you know, I have boob sweat. <laughs> That's like the worst. You know, it's not like, no, I really can't go outside and work. Which, even when, it's like a lot of times, like, the sun would be, we'd have to wait. Like, we're actually kind of, uh, uh, we're getting done with our evening duties. Yeah, right? So we're getting done with evening duties, like lemurs and waters and uh, feeding bobcats and, and minis and stuff like that. When a lot of times you got to kind of start at this time. So little things like that make a big difference. Just for quality of life factors, for animals, and for workers. And for workers. I was talking to I was talking to Jess the other day. And Heidi. We had different kind of, but there's like that when it gets cooler. When it's cooler outside. You know, like when the temperature when the high temperature is like 50s, 60s. Um, it actually opens up your, your window of options so much. What? 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 Why? Why do you have opinions of this nature? Why do you have opinions of this nature? What? Did I make... Did I... Did I make offense? I am deeply sorry for having offended thee, O oh Noe, who are all good and deserving of thy love. Alright. Alright. 
It's okay. It's okay. I'll leave you alone. Go and do something different. I gotta get going anyway. I think we're finally... We still have, we still have some uncomfortable days to go. Where it's gonna be greasy and warmer than I'd like it to be, but I think we're finally starting to maybe, maybe see things kinda, of, kinda of dipping. Look at that. Look at that. See, that's a good canary in the coal mine if I'd ever seen one. We got cats outside, they're kinda of feeling good, they're playing. Which, I mean, he's an old man, so like that's even more. He's just like, oh, yippee. <laughs> oh, whipsy doodle. Doing the jitterbug. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Ward in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep those tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy. And thank you so much for your continued support. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Monkey's butter toast. She saw a ghost. Miko weighs the most.